In this video, we're going to focus on how to draw images in the canvas. So let's scroll down here and we have our code here ready, or at least we have here our blank canvas. So what I want to do here is I want to get an image and we're going to explore one and I'm going to recommend you to get this image here. You can see this image, I've created this and or find something similar to this. Or if you want this image, I have this one here. I would say just make a screenshot of this image. So once you have the screenshot, convert the image into a 250 by 250 pixels. And this will be very important for other videos later on. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to start putting an image here in the canvas. To do this, we need to understand a few things. And we need to create what we call a image object in JavaScript. So luckily, this is all very straightforward. So to do this, the first thing I want to say here is a constant. And this constant will be our logo, or let's say our fruit image. And this fruit image will be basically a new image, which is basically our object. So in our object now, we can start to do items. And if we do now console log, you will see that there's basically still nothing in here. Let's do a fruit image. Save that. Refresh. Open up this. And you can see here now in our console log, there's nothing, but there's one thing. We have created an image. It understands that there's an image, but the image object says, sorry, I don't see anything. I don't see any uh, source linking to that. So what's the image we're talking about? So let's start to do that one now. So what I want to do now is to add up a new attribute. I'm going to say here, fruit image dot, and then we're going to get here the source. Once we did this, we're going to grab here our image. I'm going to just grab this source here. I'll just copy this. Basically, this is for me. This is on my own uh, desktop. But of course, just get it wherever your file is located. And once we have this, if I save this now, go back here, you can see here now it recognizes the image. It still doesn't display anything. Why? Because we didn't say to display it specifically on the canvas. So what we're going to do now is basically start working on this and then put it in the canvas. So for that, we're going to use what we call the draw image command. So we're going to say a draw image, and then in here we have certain variables or parameters that we need to put in. So let me show you which one they are. First of all, it would be here the image URL or our reference. In this case, it would be this is the specific reference, the image itself, that's this specific constant. Next, what we have is the x coordinates, and then we have the y coordinates, which is by default, of course, the position where I want to put this in. So if I just refresh this, all right? So what I want to do is if I want to put it, let's say here, 50 pixels to the right and then 50 pixels down, we'll be starting here, and then we will start to draw the image. So let's do that right now. So we're going to say here, in the constant, draw image, that's the command, or let me just copy this and just put one down here. Draw the image, we're going to grab the fruit image, put it in there, and then we're going to say here 100 by 100 and save this and then refresh and then you might notice there's something wrong here it doesn't show anything at all although we did it correctly why is this the reason why is the canvas is being activated immediately and sometimes the image requires a few seconds more or milliseconds more to load and this is becoming a problem because once it once the canvas has been drawn it will not redraw it again so what we need to do here really is to say we want to draw this the moment the item has been fully loaded so i'm going to say here the following we're going to say logo oh sorry not logo is it the fruit image because that's the constant we want to make sure that this is first loaded and once it is loaded so we say unload so once it is loaded i want to trigger this specific function which is the name is function and that is basically on item here so cut this out put it in there semicolon here save that then refresh and now you can see we have this nice fruit image being shown in here it is absolutely phenomenal so now we have this one and in the next video we're going to modify this step by step